nights. I was on a 12 hour flight and all of a sudden everybody fucking hitting me up at the same time. Damn, I don't think this live gonna do so good. I'm on a fucking I'm on the car. I'm getting ready. Uh, oh. Say hi. <laughs> no. We, no, we just way. landed and we're on our way to Ellen and it's like we hoping that we get there on time. We hoping that we get there on time, bro, because we are so fucking late. Uh, but I just want Ellen to know that we trying. Everybody's motherfucking trying. The thing is that we just landed. They was giving us a hard motherfucking time getting us our bag and shit. But I just really want to fucking say this conversation, right? Because I heard on a podcast about people talking about me, about my industry, my artistry. And people are always talking about my artistry and, and like about my music and everything. And like what's going on. Like let me let me tell you something, right? Let me tell you something. I do I do music that I like and I like music that please me. And then people was talking about this song press. Let me tell you about press, right? No, because a lot of people be thinking that... Let me tell you something. I do music that I like. I do music that when I'm in the studio, if I hear a beat and I start doing... Uh, if I if I start... Um, if I hear a beat and I write a fucking... Hook to it and I like it and it catch... I continue it. If I hear a, a song, if I have a reference, if I do a verse... I continue it. Somebody was saying about somebody was talking about my music this year and how it's being controlled. It's not being controlled. Nobody controls me. I always make the decisions. I make the decisions. Cardi always makes the decisions. Like, let me tell you something about press, right? I did press last I would say about last year when I was pregnant. I did it while I was pregnant, right? And then around December. I did the second I did the second verse. I finished the second verse and I played it on my Instagram. And it was around the time that you know it was a fucking controversy about me and Offset. And my fans, they couldn't stop. They couldn't stop begging, begging and begging me and begging me and begging me for the fucking song. My label didn't really want to drop the song. Like Atlantic didn't really want to drop the song They really didn't like the song But they was like alright if that's what you want to do That's what we're going to fucking do So they dropped the song And you know it wasn't one of my best performing songs But it's like you know I dropped it for my fans That's some shit that I dropped for my fans So it's like I I don't I know niggas ain't talking shit about money Because money is four time platinum You know what I'm saying And I do like the song It's talking about some girly shit No it's not super rapping No this and that But it's about money And that's what shit that I fucking like And it did super well And it's four time platinum It did amazing The other records Like somebody talking shit about writing on the wall Let me tell you something about writing on the wall right Writing on the wall It was a record it was a reference that was given to me. It was Post Malone and this artist there. I don't know what was the artist. And I did the song. And I actually had like three verses on the song. That whole song was my song. So around the time of my album, it was so hard to clear because I guess the song was really hard to clear because um, I don't know if it was because of the production of the producer and anything. I don't know what happened. But the record, it just got scrapped out my album. Then, like, four or five months later, four or five months later, French Montana people hit me up about the song. And I'm like, what the hell? And the beat was changed. And I only had one verse on it. And I'm like, you know what? I don't give a fuck. If, you, if this is your record, if you want it, I don't care, whatever. I, but don't. But it's like, you know, once I'm a feature to certain songs, I hate people, like, putting me, in, like, responsible, like, to, like, oh, why your label is having you do certain songs, why this, why that. My labels don't, my, my labels don't decide what songs do I be getting on. I have certain relationships with certain artists, and when they ask me for a song, I do it, and, and, uh, they clear it or not, and, they cleared it and and then on top of that these songs it's been clear months ago you know what i'm saying it's been cleared months ago like the fat joe record um uh, fucking writing on the wall it was supposed to have been dropped months ago but i had so many records out that it's like things 
it takes time to drop things at, at certain moments like is that we can't drop a song when press and fucking wish wish is out at the same time but if people feel like i gotta like go ham and everything oh yeah because a lot of my, my my fans they've been asking me to do songs with certain artists and it's like I haven't really been doing features these couple of months because a lot of people have been saying that I've been focusing on other stuff and it's like I ha I have been focusing on other things because it's like you don't get rich off of one shit. You get rich off doing different shit. So yes, I have been focusing on fashion. I have been focusing on other uh money ventures because I want to do a lot of different shit. I don't want to be stuck on just doing one shit. Like I have a lot of dreams for myself. But I'm not going to what is what, what is this motherfucker writing all these shit? Why are you writing all these fucking emojis, bitch? Get the fuck off my Instagram. Um, but um, I'm not going to be doing a lot of songs or a lot of things. I don't even know if I'm gonna even drop music this year anymore because everything that I'm working on right now is straight to my album straight to my album and i think i'm gonna name my album tiger woods i'm gonna name my album i think tiger woods because remember when everybody was talking shit on tiger woods like oh blah 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 this blah blah that and then he fucking came and won that green jacket that's what i'm gonna name my album but everything right now like i'm just gonna be real quiet about some shit because i'm i'm gonna i'm been working on my album and the next shit that I'm gonna drop is gonna be my single. And after my single, as soon as I drop my single, it's gonna be my album. And whatever the fuck niggas feel like they lacking, they not hearing from me, y'all most likely gonna hear on my album. Oh, sorry. Maybe rap, maybe commercial. Giving you a little bit of Cardi mixtape vibes, whatever it is, I'ma give it to y'all. But I'ma give it to y'all on my album. Oh shit, bitch! Oh shit! All right, well I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.